Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 It is the Lord's blessings that makes you wealthy he adds no sorrows to it praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah he takes pleasure in our well being now we are going to have a session of praise and worship please join with us as much as I, as you can please stand up let us pray together if possible clap your hands and be rejoice rejoice for the lord relax and pray glory glory just forever for he is good is a power of day his love endures forever say pray presence of lord we worship you we are all of you hallelujah 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 sen mark chapter 11 verse 24 so i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 dear brothers and sisters today we are thinking about to pray before god is it good or bad for our needs if we pray for our needs if we pray for our material needs is it a sin many many 
Christians are thinking that it is not good, it is not up to the mark if we pray for our material needs before the Lord. One day, one of my friends told me, Father, don't make God a milking cow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then I take these words before the Lord and I prayed for a long time to get a revelation on this matter. Then God revealed me his desire. He is very much happy when we went to him, when we go to him and pray for our needs and pray for our, uh, about our life. Jesus once appeared to St. Bridget and told her, I am happy when people ask me for good things. I will give them more I will give them more than what they expect. I am always happy when they pray. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father is a loving Father. We can take all our burdens to our Father. He is always happy to share our burdens. In Psalms chapter 55 Verse 22, there our Lord, our Heavenly Father revealed like this. Cast your burden on the Lord and He will sustain you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't be tired by taking by yourself all the burdens of your life. Cast your burdens upon Him. He is ready to bear that. He is ready to bear with you. He is ready to walk with you. It is my experience too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit slowly led me to book of Tobit, chapter 3, verses 8 to 15. For she had been married to seven husbands, and the wicked demon, Asmodeus, had killed each of them before they had been with her as is customary for wives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her name was Sarah. This Sarah was married to seven husbands. But there was a demon called Asmodeus. And this demon killed all her husbands, a normal girl. But so after seeing all the scenes, she was full of sorrow. Again. So the maid said to her, you are the one who kills your husbands. See, you have already been married to seven husbands and have not borne the name of a single one of them. Why do you beat us? Because your husbands are dead? Go with them. May we never see a son or daughter of yours. Oh, my God. See, all those who come there to work in their house, even them, them, they also ridiculed her. They also scolded her. They also caused much pain to her, saying bad things, abusive words against her, upon her. One after another, sorrows, pains, failures is coming, coming to her life. Then one day she began to think like this, why should I leave? It is better to die. That much pain there was in her, in her mind. That is written in the Bible. On that day, she was grieved in spirit and wept. When she had gone up to her father's upper room, she intended to hang herself, but she thought it over and said, Never shall they reproach my father, saying to him, You had only one beloved daughter, but she hanged herself because of her distress. Even though bad thoughts came to her mind, 
then immediately there came good thoughts also because of her deep grief many times she thought to hang up and end her life but immediately there came another thought see my father is old why should i cause pain to him if i die what will be his condition dear children please listen to me if you are a good child of god you will be thinking more about your parents if you have spirit of god you will not be thinking more about yourself but we will be thinking about others if i do like this what will be the pain of my parents if i do like this what will be the pain of my my teachers if i do like this how how it will affect the other people if not we are selfish the spirit in us is a self selfish spirit not of god's spirit in her her see the sarah's life her parents brought up her in a in a in an atmosphere of faith they gave her a good training in spiritual life so when hard time came in her life she was guided by the spirit she thought of uh, she uh, thought of her parents uh, about her father and she stopped thinking of end her ending her life then and i shall bring my father in his old age down in sorrow to hades it is better for me not to hang myself but to pray to the lord that i may die and not listen to these reproaches any more hallelujah hallelujah then she began to pray that is the guidance of holy spirit when bad things happens uh, happen in my, in our lives we have to pray we have to bring all things to the, our father that is the way which bible demands us we have to pray don't take shame to come before the lord and saying about our material needs we have we can we can do that our lord has given us the freedom to do so hallelujah 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 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord then sarah began to she started praying at that same time with hands outstretched towards the window she prayed and said blessed are you merciful god blessed is your name forever let all your works praise you forever and now lord i turn my face to you and raise my eyes towards you command that i be released from the earth and not listen to such reproaches any more you know o master that i am innocent of any defilement with a man and that i have not disgraced my name or the name of my father in the land of my exile i am my father's only child he has no other child Jesus. to be his heir and he has no close relative or other kindred for whom i should keep myself as wife already seven husbands of mine have died why should i still live but if it be not pleasing to you to take my life command that respect be shown to me and pity be taken upon me and that i hear reproach any more she told her sorrows to his father heavenly father her life was uh, pitifully destroyed by uh, certain situations she took the freedom to express her feelings she took the freedom to share her burdens before her father heavenly father immediately there came an answer heavenly father intervened in that life 
and he sent uh, Tobias to her house. Tobias, Tobias came and he drove away the demons and uh, their, her, her future became a bright future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She had a good life with Tobias. Hallelujah. 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 In our times, see, many of us are not, many of us don't have perseverance. When bad things come, they are going to depression. They are going to feel sad and they are going to gloomy. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. But Bible demands us to pray when hard times come. In Psalms chapter 50, verse 15, when things go upside down, don't lose your hope. Call upon your God. He is there to help you. Let us hear chapter 50, verse 15. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. I am happy to bring an, a testimony before you. This is, a, this, is a, this is a testimony of a young student living in the United States. My name is Liz Mandapathil, a 19-year-old student living in the United States. I am currently in my second year in college studying business. I have been applying to over 50 companies for an internship in the past year. I went to over 20 interviews and never got a job. There was a period of time where I lost all my hope in finding one job. I felt depressed. Then I started watching Abhishekakni after my mother recommended it for me. I watched an episode during an evening last week and I cried out and prayed. Within a few hours, I was called for an interview from a top international company, General Electric. Before going for the interview, I watched another episode of Abhishekni also and I prayed with a deep faith. By the grace of God, I was offered a job there at General Electric. I have no doubt this was through the miraculous intervention of my heavenly father. After failing numerous interviews, God landed me with the best internship that he had planned for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 119. Verse 26, we have to describe in details whatever sorrows we had before our Lord. When I told of my ways, you answered me. Dear brothers, dear friends, pray as you can. Then the rest of will, the Lord will do for you. Let us raise our hands and proclaim the goodness of our Lord. Our Heavenly Father is good. He is good always. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. Glory, glory, glory. All the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. And God is good. All the time. Through the darkest night. It's light will shine. God is good. Clap your hands. God is good. All the time. Please clap the hands. God is good all the time. He's put a song of praise in this heart of mine. And God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you walk in through the valleys, there are shadows all around. Do not fear, He will guide you. He will keep you safe and sound. He has promised to never leave you, nor forsake you. And His word is true, God is good. 
all the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine, and God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Hallelujah! 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 Lord, thank you, Lord. You're a good God. We give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 11. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find out. Knock and it will be opened for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sacrament most holy. Oh, sacrament divine. Oh, praise and all. Thanksgiving be every moment high. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our beloved Father. We adore you. We adore the mighty presence of Holy Trinity. Dear friends, let us proclaim the goodness of our Lord. Now we are entering to a praise and worship. Our Lord is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our, our God, God is, God is an awesome God. He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Power and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah, 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 fold our hands bow before the lord bow before the most holy sacrament o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be Every moment, God. Oh, 
Oh. 